Kit Kat is a much-loved chocolate bar that has been enjoyed across the world for many years. But where did it come from, and why do we rely on it so much? Here are nine mouth-watering facts about Kit Kats. Kit Kat is 87 years old. Kit Kat was first launched in London on August 29, 1935. The first Kit Kat chocolate bar was a four-finger chocolate wafer bar. The Kit Kat bar has had different names over the years. It hasn't always been called a Kit Kat. When the product was launched, it was called Roundtree's Chocolate Crisp and was renamed to Kit Kat Chocolate Crisp two years later. It's uncertain exactly where the name Kit Kat originated as there are multiple places it may have come from. It has been recorded as being used to describe food snacks since as early as the 18th century. And it is also said that the name comes from a meeting point in London called the Kit Kat Club. It wasn't until 1949 when the words chocolate crisp was dropped from the title and it became just Kit Kat. Wartime rations caused the Kit Kat recipe to change. The chocolate-coated wafer bar was launched just before World War II. This meant that during the war, some of the ingredients in the bar had to be changed due to rationing. The change of ingredients made the chocolate bar not as tasty, and this was a worry for the company. During this time, they even changed their advertising to read no more chocolate crisp until after the war hoping that it would keep people's interest and loyalty. However, once the war was over, it reverted back to its original recipe and packaging. This was a positive time for Kit Kat as sales dropped dramatically during the wartime. Kit Kat had blue packaging throughout World War II. A shortage of milk during World War II forced Roundtree's to switch from milk chocolate to dark chocolate in its Kit Kat bars. It was during this time that the company changed the wrapper from red to blue and dropped Chocolate Crisp from its title. 1955 marked the first year of advertising the product on television. Television was a new source of advertisement and a very expensive one too. Not everyone could afford to have a television, but as time went on and prices dropped they became more affordable for the working class. This was a great way for Roundtree's to promote the Kit Kat bar to its target audience. In 1957, the slogan, Have a Break, Have a Kit Kat, was used alongside their TV commercials to promote the bar as workers' chocolate. The slogan encouraged people to associate the Kit Kat bar with taking a break from work. It was also associated as the perfect snack to go with a tea or coffee when you are on your break. Kit Kat was Roundtree's best-selling product. Kit Kats became Roundtree's best-selling product within two years of the launch. In 1988, Roundtree's was taken over by Nestle, who are still the current owners of the Kit Kat product in most of the world. In the United States, Kit Kat is made by Reese's Candy Company. Nestle agreed to keep the ingredients and production of the Kit Kat the same as it was such a popular chocolate bar. Kit Kats had a wafer inside to cut down costs. The idea of the wafer being the filling was to keep the cost of production lower and therefore offer an affordable working man's chocolate bar. If the bar was made from solid chocolate, the production costs would have been a lot higher. This is mostly due to the fact that cocoa beans were more expensive than a biscuit wafer. Kit Kat Chunky was invented in 1999. The change in size allowed Nestle to market the same loved product, but to a slightly varied audience. It was an easy product to market because Kit Kat already had a name for being a great chocolate bar. So all the people who would buy the normal Kit Kat wanted to try the new size. Today, there are over 300 flavors of Kit Kat. The first flavor variant of Kit Kat was released in 1996 and it was orange flavor. There have been over 200 limited edition and seasonal flavors of Kit Kat produced since 2000, most of which were in Japan. 
they began to experiment with not only sweet tasting flavors, but any flavor that exists within Japanese culture. So friends, I don't know how much I have been able to tell you till today, but as much as I know, I have shared with you the interesting things. If you like the video, then you must like and comment, and your likes and comments are very inspiring to us. I hope you will be with me to make it. Thank you so much.